Hello everyone and welcome to Real Living with Rachel in Rachel's Kitchen where we're doing a take a look episode 2, kitchen appliances. Now I'm mainly going to be talking about the accessory appliances, not the main players such as the oven and the fridge because uh, you just gotta have those if you're in the 21st century. Anyways, so let's get started. First up, the microwave. Now I have a lot of friends that are anti-microwave. I see it on Facebook, I hear it in the real life. We're gonna have our microwave. It takes up so much space. <laughs> it doesn't ever tell the time right. Oh my gosh, don't do that. I thought that was the stop. <sighs> Anyways, it never tells the time right. But um, yeah. We use it, we use it for mainly veggies. Like, you know how I use a lot of frozen veggies because it's the easiest way to get veggies in? Uh, so I use it for that. I know I could do the so stove top option, but it already comes in trash that steamable. I might as well use that trash for its purpose to steam. But it might be bad for my body, I don't know. I'm a I was a physics major and it doesn't scare me none. So, the microwave, we use it, we use it. We just got this yesterday. I see you notice we have, hold on, take a look. We have two soap dispensers. One is regular and one is decaf. No, this one we just got yesterday, so I haven't thrown this one away yet because it's still full. But uh, it's automatic, supersonic, hypnotic, funky, fresh. Um, yeah, and I don't know how I feel about it just yet. I don't like the way it looks. This one was beautiful. It showed off the blue. It's the same soap in each, and that looks terrible. <laughs> That looks so bad. So I like this one better, but like we got it because this thing keeps coming off and that's, that's more terrible. <sighs> Sometimes beauty doesn't win. Next up is the air fryer and this is the beloved. This is the one that gets used the most. Matt does this for everything. Sandwiches, burgers, veggies, fries, tater tots, anything that goes in the freezer and wants to come out warm, he puts it in that thing in it, other than the frozen veggie bag, you know. But that thing is wonderful. That's the only one I will let, other than the microwave, stand on the counter. I'm a clean counter kind of girl, because otherwise I'm not gonna wipe it down. Mm -mm. If it's hard for me to wipe down, not gonna do it. Gonna get all dirty. But my counters are clean because I'm able to work around or hide monsters like this. Matt's all like, why is it in the corner? Why can't we have it plugged in? Because you have to move it all the time. So this is our compromise, that it lives in the corner far away. <laughs> and then when he uses it, he plugs it in. And then when he's done, I am always the one to put it back because he would otherwise love it right here. But uh, compromise, man, compromise. So that is the air fryer, main player in the kitchen. And we're coming on down to our Instant Pot. It does not get to live up on the counter. It is not cute. <laughs> that one at least is like sleek. That one is like, oh, there's too many things it can do and I haven't learned all of them yet. Oh, it's because I'm stupid. <laughs> That's what this thing tells me, but it actually is super useful. We cook with it. We used to cook with it. I'm sorry, I'm all wobbly on my knees. We used to cook with it a lot more at our apartment and for some reason we don't cook with it as much here, probably because it lives down there. <laughs> but we do get it out sometimes. Um, I'll use it for rice because I got rid of my rice cooker, which I do regret. The rice cooker did make better rice than this. But um, it makes great eggs. I make yogurt. We sometimes, if we just want a one pot meal, we'll just do it in this. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool appliance. Could live without, but it's, I mean, we got it and it's cool. And yep, yeah, it stays. It lives down here. The last and one of the favorite appliances we have is the blender. Y'all have seen my smoothie videos. If not, hop on over a few scrolls back <laughs> in the timeline of my videos to see the smoothies we make. And it lives up here. That's inconvenient. I mean, our laundry's in the kitchen. It's not like I walked out somewhere far away. Like, it's not a trek to go get it. But I don't like things on the counter. So I put it up here and it works really well. I don't mind getting it down every day that's fine no problem there whatsoever so this is our blender we have the big one and the short one i finally learned what those are for food and drink so they live in there and other than that that's kind of it on our appliances i watch other people's appliance videos and i'm like oh i love the thing that you can blend in the thing that's cool um 
And then a food processor. I don't have a food processor. That might be really, really nice. Our cooking level might get 100% more healthy if I had a food processor to make my own nut butters, to make my own whatever. But let's be realistic. Not everybody gonna be that healthy. Uh, but maybe for my birthday, food processor, huh? Let me know what your favorite food, food blah, blah, blah. let me know what your favorite food processor is and I'll put it on my wish list. Thank y'all for stopping by. Again, this was number two. Take a look. Appliances will probably stay in the kitchen till we're done. <laughs> till we're done with it. So thanks. See you later. Bye. Alright, bonus tip. I was trying to get a photo <laughs> for the thumbnail, the YouTube thumbnail. And so I was all like kissing it, like mmm. And I realized it was a little bit grimy. And so what I do is I regularly, regularly clean my appliances because they look better. And I, it's like the Murray Kondo thing. If you have the things, you love the things. If you love the things, you take care of the things. If you take care of the things, you clean the things. So I'm gonna just show you how easy it is. I'm not gonna show you what product I use because advertise your product here. I'm <laughs> shameless plug, you could be a sponsor. All right, so can't see what I use. This space could you be yours, so many viewers. All right, so you just spray it down. Really simple, really simple. And you just clean it down. And it takes seconds. Oh, I'm not doing a very good job cleaning and showing. But it takes seconds, and look how bright and shiny it is. And honestly, if your kitchen is spotless, but your appliances are not, your kitchen is not spotless. Clean your appliances. It sounds stupid. It's not. They look beautiful. They're members of your family. They feed for you. They cook for you. You're all like, I cooked this dinner. No, you didn't. Your appliances did. Take care of them. They're beautiful. And that's why he gets to sit on the counter because he's all sleek and beautiful. And no longer greasy. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.